Hi folks, welcome to the tutorial on how to use NSC or defaults to save and load your information in your application. I'm just using a simple template I made in the previous tutorial, a tab controller. And two classes, two IB controllers. The very first thing I want to do is make two, so a few IB outlets. IB outlets, UI text fields, call the first one first name text. Can not spell properly? Field. IP outlet UI text field uh, last name text IP outlet UI text field age text okay and then a IP action save ID and then the sender. Okay, so I didn't see it for that. That's all we're doing there. There's three text fields and a method. We also want to make a. Oh, we got there. We're going to do is jump into your um, lib file and we're going to add three text fields. Very lazy and just copy, copy, paste. Okay, and then add a UI button. Make it a bit bigger and call it save. Now, if you click on your files owner and connection inspector you'll see all the little IP edits we've made earlier. So, first name, last name, age, and actions. Now, what's the action to be? Touch up inside. That means just press. So ask me why it's called that. Now also, we're going to give these some placeholders. So, very first placeholder is going to be first name. Second one's going to be, of course, last name. Name. and the third will be just age. Now these are essentially the exact same as we're going to use to load the data. So we're going to copy these and drop them into our view on our second view. Just copy them, paste again, sorry, paste the and drop them in. Rename to load. And also we're going to take these methods, these headers, copy and into your second view header just paste them in and change the save to load okay back into your nib file files owner connection inspector and connect them as well so age to age first name to first name and last name to last name and load same thing touch up inside okay now we have those set up we have to actually make the information save so to do that we have to go into our first view.m and start coding up our little method okay so first things first IB action save and we can see what we're doing. Now, the very first thing we want to do is make the keyboard go away when we press save. So, first name text, resign first responder, last name text, resign first responder, and then age text, resign first responder. So that just means that it will go away once we press the save button. Okay, next thing, we need to make some temporary values to hold the input. So then a string, last name, equals uh, first name text. Uh, actually, it's nice now to, if you just try doing the old fashioned way of doing this, it'll give you a warning saying this isn't proper, uh, this has been changed, or. But this does work. 
fine. You can do first name dot text. It just depends on what version you're using of um, iOS. Anyway, please do go to everybody for a string last. Let's do the last name first. I don't know why. First name equals last name text text. So we're taking the actual values of the input. Then int age equals. Now this is going to get a bit interesting. Uh, sorry, bracket age text text. But because it's insure, we have to explicitly cast it into an insure value. There we go. Now we have to declare our NS user defaults. NS user defaults is called saved equals NS user defaults standard users defaults. So that's a object with the default saved as saved. So now we must use this to turn our input into NS user defaults. So saved set object for key. For first name. Now we want the string here, not the text field. The text field's name becomes a string. First name for key. First name. Now make sure you spell these exactly the same because when you call this later on, this, if it's not the same, it's not going to come up. Then saved, set object, last name, last name. Now int Sorry, not saved, set integer age for key h. Okay, now one other thing about this little thing. What this is going to cause a problem with later on is because text fields are strings. This is an integer. So that's going to cause a wee little problem later on, but I'll show you how to fix that when we load it. So now saved synchronize. So it just synchronizes this as these defaults with. The. We have to save it all and this will now make sure all these are saved into these keys. So if we call those keys later on, it'll work fine. Okay, that's all set up. So make sure our connections are all set. Touch it aside, save, yep, all good. Our headers are grand, we're the same here. Now we have to load this back into our view. So erase that pointless method and IB action load. Okay, same deal here, ns string first name equals, ah, sorry one second, this is where an error sometimes appears between the versions. Sorry it wasn't the version, it's actually my own code. Yes, these are defaults. The order equals NS user defaults, standard user defaults. Okay. Now NS string first name equals loader object for key first name. Okay, so remember we called this first name in our previous user defaults. So this is going to call the value for that. So we're putting these back into temporary values and then put these values back into the text field in the review. Last name equals loader object for key. Last name int age equals loader integer for key age. This was talking about the problem we're gonna have because we don't put int age back into it into a text field, it'll give us an error. So and a string age string equals and a string string with format and then percent i to cast an integer back into a string. There we go. Now very simply, first name text dot text so we're putting it back into a text box equals first name last name dot text equals last name and then 
page string dot text equals so no my bad age text dot text equals age string that's the one okay that should be all we need build make sure no errors nothing unused all seems to be okay so me myself and 30 20 doesn't really matter and save and load perfect now just to prove this is working fine i'm going to kill the app there load straight from simulator they're all empty load there you go and she default has saved the data to its own memory and then even after the app is closed from Xcode, this is running simply in the simulator with the data loaded onto the simulator to be loaded back into application. There you go folks, hope this was helpful to you. Source code will be online at some point. Thanks for watching. Bye now.